Hi, and welcome to this lesson, BIM for Interior Design. But do you actually know what is BIM? BIM is not a software. BIM is a process where you produce everything on a single model with information inside the IM BIM. If you are an interior designer who ever felt overwhelmed about using AutoCAD, SketchUp, Photoshop, Excel, all at the same time, you're not alone. The traditional workflow forces you to jump between different software just to complete one set of a project. So you'll probably be using AutoCAD for plans and elevations, then Photoshop to add textures to these plans and elevations, then SketchUp for 3D as you were working only in 2D, then Enscape for realistic renderings, and finally you have to create all these schedules manually. And what happens when the client changes something? You need to manually update every single file and cross-check everything again, leading to inconsistency, rework, and wasted time. Now, imagine doing everything on a single software. That's where BIM, Building Information Modeling, comes in. Using a BIM methodology, you avoid the work, you avoid inconsistency, you gain efficiency as you work in 2D, 3D, and scheduling at the same time. Like I said before, BIM is not a software. However, to design in a BIM process, you need a software to allow that. And Revit is one of the most powerful BIM tools out there. Revit is used by the largest architecture, interior design, engineering, and construction companies in the whole world. It's basically the global leader. In my professional experience, I had a chance to work in projects where interior designers, architects, and even engineers were working together on the same project and even the same file. Because with BIM, you can collaborate and increase efficiency. That's why the large offices around the world are all using Revit. With Revit, the objects in your project, the walls, the floors, the furniture, lighting, finishes, they're not just lines or shapes. They are 3D elements that contain real-world information. Dimensions, materials, manufacturer data, finishes, model, pricing, and more. If you click in the objects, for, for instance, this wall, Revit knows it's a wall and you can have a personalized name. If you click in this other wall, again, Revit knows it's a, it's a wall and this one has another information. It's a moisture resistant wall. So all this information is inside the objects. If you click in this chair, again, you can see it's a furniture and Herman Miller. If we click in this vase, for instance, you can see it's a furniture item and inside the properties of the object, you can see all the information and you can add more, you can change it. You can even add cost and have the costing of your project once you finish that. As long as the information is inside the elements, you can extract in scheduling after. That means you make changes and it automatically updates all across your documentation, the floors, the elevations, the 3D views, the scheduling, and even the renders. I'll show an example. So let's see this bench here, for instance. And we can see the same bench here on the floor plan and the same bench here i'm just zooming so you can see better what i'm talking about this here and the same bench here so this is one 3d model the one here and all the information is being extracted from this 3d model so uh, first one if i just click on this bench and I decide that I'm changing the code. Can you see the code here? It's this bench I'm talking about. If I change this to be uh, one, one. 
enter it already changes here so it even changes the position because it's numbering position so I just put it back and um, if I just decide to move to the side you can see it automatically moves in all the views I'll just put it back and if I decide to make a copy let's make two of them put here another one then you can see it reflects in the counting now I have two everything changes automatically at the same time you don't have to cross check anything ever again how you do traditionally if you were using multiple software you can design in 3d and see the impact in your decisions in real time let's see this wall here if i draw in 3d it already updates the plans and already updates the elevation it's all real time you input your data once and you don't have to think about it again let's see this cushion here for instance when you still don't have a code added to the to your object it shows as an interrogation so you can come here let's add a code enter and it automatically pops up on your scheduling with the code you added and all the information you had already added to your product and you can easily create render 3d visualizations with templates you just select your plan click view camera once you have a brand new 3d view from your model you just select templates and it's done no need to export to another software you can do it quickly inside Revit and these are not static images still images you can even hover around change the angles walk inside and you can start working on your model inside these views like this one let's say i want to copy this to the side and everything updates automatically it's in real time and if you think you are too early in your design stage to show a finished render to your client you can easily change another um, setting just like this one where you show the intent with your finishes but you don't show a finished uh, render you can also create easily solar studies directly in Revit so in this case if I just click in this preset here apply you have a nighttime vision then you could come back to the other one you can change the time of the day let's say this is uh, later in the day 4 p.m. and then you you have the solar study right here real time and what is more remarkable for interior designers is that in Revit you can also document all your joinery casework meal work however you say in your country uh, you can create the plans and highlight all the joinery you can create all the process inside Revit you don't have to to go in another software because you can create this beautiful plans with elevations different colors you can put the, the 3ds with the materials directly in Revit you don't have to do this in Photoshop or something else and you don't have uh, con constraints about the quality and the um, the scale because you can draw in any scale and you can create as many elevations as you want and the same for the three models if you change anything in your model it will reflect here like if i delete this you can see it automatically changes in all your views including the views in your uh, january plans 
so you don't have to think about what you change in your plan and if you change in your Photoshop illustrations. And you can also have details in any scale. You can have 2D details just like you would in AutoCAD, which is easier for you to maintain your library updated. And when I say you can do everything inside Revit, I'm not kidding, you can actually do even your mood boards, uh, which is great if you're working on a team, because someone who's working on a joinery item can easily see what you're planning for finishes if you're doing everything in the same place. So, and, and you can keep the same quality and creativity as you would in another software. You can do these compositions like this one here, let's say you want you can put this transparent background images, you can add text. So if you want to say this is uh, by client, client, you can, you can change this, you can add more lines, any color, any size, any type of line. So you can do everything you would in another software, but you keep here everything literally on the same page. The same for the concept images that you can easily do here in Revit. You can adjust size, you can move around, you can do any layout. It's really quick and easy. You can even choose the size when it's printed because this is everything real life size. This is a tree and you can add as much image you can change the distance everything you would do outside you can do inside Revit and if you're working on a team it's really easy because everybody can check what you're doing without leaving Revit and another great benefit of doing everything on the same software once you finished you have all your set here you can check what is done, you can add revisions, ABC, 1, 2, 3, whatever you want. And you can print everything at the same time, so you don't have to combine PDFs after and check if anything else is missing. If it's all there. It's the full set, everything on the same page, literally. And let's not forget that the main benefit of being is the information inside the objects because this is what brings consistency and efficiency. The same way the 3D objects updating all views and schedules, the legends do the same. And I believe the best example would be to show you this plan because you have this schedule here, this schedule here, so it looks like just a legend, but actually it's populating the information in your model. So if I, for instance, select these kind of lights, the L2 that I only have one, can you see this here? Fixture types, feature pendant light. If I select this one and I delete, you can see it automatically updates the legend. So once you add or remove anything, this will be updated automatically. Another main benefit of using Revit is because you can easily work changing your objects or adding more to your library, just changing parameters like this one. If you simply come to your family and you change some dimensions, it easily changes. You can change this one here. Let's make it smaller. So that's how easy you can manipulate objects in your files. And why does this matter? Because efficiency equals time saved. If I could sum up being in two words, I would say consistency and efficiency. This is what you gain. You gain speed and quality. You can do everything on the same software. You don't need to be jumping around and checking things and endless nights just doing the same thing in different places. This is what BIM means to me. And this is why I would say it's the best software for any interior designer. I hope this can clarify your understanding of BIM, Build Information Modeling. And if you still have any doubt, 
please write me. Thank you, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye for now.